Hey, what's up, guys? We are here again, and uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about Sea Dream 4.0. And uh, it just released, and I heard it's a competitor to Nano Banana. And so we'll check it out and see how, how it goes. So we're going to be testing out some props, some images. All right, guys, welcome to the Sketch Lab. So let's get into it. Um, all right. So it says C Dream 4.0, the new generation image creation model. C Dream 4.0 integrates image generation, image editing capabilities into a single unified architecture. This allows it to flexibly handle complex multi model tasks, including knowledge based generation, complex reasoning, and reference consistency. With much faster inference speed than its predecessor, the speed can produce stunning high definition images at up to 4K resolution. So that's pretty awesome. Um, so here are some examples here. Um, so if you go on their website, it's seed.bydance.com. Um, it took this one image and was able to make three, create three other images in um, one shot. So the prompt in here, the prompt that they use says, refer to this image, generate three images from different views, 360 degree overhead view, an elevated view and back view. Um, don't change the girl's appearance and outfit. So that looks pretty awesome. Um, yeah, it's, it looks consistent. It did what it asked it to do here for branding purposes. They took this logo and they created this whole like mood board with branding. Uh, it looks incredible to me. So they got the bag, they got the hat and tag. So yeah, this, this is pretty impressive. Over here, style consistency, refer to the style of the image, generate a set of images showing different sports. They will be used to create a series of advertisements. Note to keep the same figure silhouette in the background. So yeah, they've kept the style. They did the boxing. Got he's on a bike now and playing basketball. So yeah, this is pretty incredible. All right, so we're gonna check it out and we're gonna jump into Kria because now C Dream Four is available through Kria. So let's check it out. All right, guys, we are in Kria. As you can tell. Um, as you can see, I have tested it out a little bit uh, in one of the um, images I created a while ago. And um, this um, kind of playing around with some shots here. So we're going to use Zero and Gorbex and see if we can create a fight scene using this because it said it can create multiple scenes in one take. So we're going to give that a shot. So we're going to go here and if you go on your lower left and if you're not familiar with Kria, it's really easy to use. So would you go here um, into images and once you collect select images, you go down in the lower left, uh, lower left corner and you get to select um, all the different models. Um, so there's quite a few of them. So today we're going to select C Dream uh, 4. So it's the latest high quality model from Byte Dance with custom re resolution and style support. So we're gonna go ahead and select C Dream and you can actually upload up to six images to edit or transform their subjects. So now that's pretty cool. So that's something that Nana, Nano Banana can't do right now. I know Nana can do up to three images. C Dream 4.0 can do six images. So let's give it a shot here and let's upload some images and create our scenes. All right, so we have uploaded uh, two images. So here's the first image. And here's the second image is the, uh, the background. So we're gonna create four scenes in one shot. And then we're gonna try to uh, actually create it in 4K resolution. So here's the prompt that I used here uh, says generate four storyboard images corresponding to the following scenes hero character in red and white punches the monster in the face close-up of the monster stunned by the punch of the hero 
monster grabs the hero by the throat he throws him into a building in the distance so those are like kind of uh sequential fight scenes and this idea came from uh, on their website and i'll leave the link in the descri description of uh, how to use this uh this model and um it actually goes into uh, in depth of like what prompt you should use so the idea came from this one uh, with these astronauts and it created these like four scenes so uh, that's where um, I got my prompt idea from let's do a 16 by 9 and we're going to do a 4k resolution and then we're going to generate all right guys so it finished generating and uh man That is pretty sick. That's crazy. I honestly, I didn't think it was gonna work. Um, now, in the first panel, it, he's a little too big, but that's okay. We're just, we'll just, um, we can maybe you. We can actually probably use this tool, uh, C Drain, to actually uh, fix that. But it did exactly what we told it to do. Um, I mean, we want him to look a little bit more stunned on the second plane here, but he did grab him by the throat and he tossed him. Um, and here's the second generation. This is cool. I mean, I like that angle right there. I mean, that looks pretty epic. So, um, and the style stayed consistent, pretty impressive. And then you see him kind of like looking pretty mad, he got punched. Um, yeah, and he threw hell to the building in the distance. So, yeah, I think this is really incredible. Um, and uh, you can actually now really plan out your five scenes and use uh, star frame and frame video generation. So, but this is really, this is a really uh, a step closer to creating really good five scenes or whenever uh, you're creating commercial or a uh, film or you know whatever you're creating i think this tool can be very helpful so um all right so uh let's do another uh sequence shot and then we're gonna see if we can change the style and see if that what happens here okay so here is another set of scenes so that we're going to create here uh same thing it says generate four storyboard images corresponding to the following scenes hero character in red and white crashes into a destroyed apartment with dust all around so this continues after the after gorefax throws him into the building and uh now he lands up to this uh, uh you know apartment uh so the hero crashes into an apartment and then there's dust all around hero flies out of the building at high speed and the hero tackles the monster at high speed the hero carries him high into the sky you can see the city below so let's see um yeah let's see what happens here all right guys so we uh, got the generation here okay um they actually put a helmet on him uh well, that's pretty interesting uh i like that shot on the bottom uh that's a pretty cool shot right there like he's running and grabbing him but uh that's kind of cool and then kind of picked him up. All right. I mean, the his, I mean, his pose is a little weird, but pretty cool. I like that shot. So you can see him like crashing into the building. Um, that shot is okay. Yeah, I mean, not too bad. Uh, I think this is great for comic books too. So you can create your flames. So, you know, I think it's just my prompt just needs to be tweaked so that we can uh, probably get better results, but I'm pretty impressed with this. Um, to really plan out your scenes, so you don't have to just like one generation at a time, we can just do multiple. So I think that's pretty impressive. And um, yeah, so I, I would really like to hear your thoughts about this uh, this new model, C Dream 4.0. I think it it's pretty helpful. Um, you know, does it beat Nano Banana? Well. I think it beats it as far as creating sequences 
that's pretty impressive so now let's see if we can change the style of the character uh we'll see how that goes okay so what i did was i said change style of character so that he looks photorealistic have him standing on a cliff of a red planet have camera pointing up from below his pose let's see his pose is heroic so and then i did like a two by three dimension on this so let's see uh see if uh what kind of result we're gonna have on this one and the generation is pretty fast too which i'm pretty impressed but uh yeah let's see if it changes the style wow <laughs> yo that's crazy dude yeah that's nuts uh yeah that that was a little weird i mean he's pointing the camera up i'm not sure what that what, what that's about but um yeah that's pretty crazy yeah i love this it, it also almost looked like a 3d like a 3d scene um i'm not i'm not mad at it i mean this is kind of like what i had in my mind the camera is pointing upward so uh i think that's pretty impressive so yeah let's uh let's try to generate another scene no i'm not all right i really love that i would love to hear your thoughts on this one uh, i mean this can this can be like let's say you create you're creating a comic book you know and these could be your frames it's really important to curate uh your scenes make sure that the quality is on par and you know fix it in photoshop if you need to or use nano banana c dream to do your 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 in painting edits and then you can use something like this as your comic book cover. So, um, yeah. So I think this is something that I'll probably play around with and create like a little short comic book about this character. But, um, yeah, I think that'll re that's really impressive. I mean, you can add your your logo, your graphics, and uh, Sea Dream could probably do that for you. But uh, I like to kind of do that in uh, Photoshop or something like that so I can edit that um, you know, quite easily. All right, so... Here's another prompt that said, uh, change style of character so that it looks photorealistic. Have him flying in space like Superman with the red planet behind him. Make sure it looks cinematic. Shot on a 35 millimeter Panavision can. So let's see, we did it on a 16 by nine format and uh, we'll see what, uh, let's see what the result's gonna be. All right guys, so here is the result. Let's check out the first one, yeah that's incredible i mean it got the film grain down it looks like it's shot from a panavision camera which is probably like my favorite camera i mean they use it in the aliens movie so uh that's just like i just love grainy just cinematic images um let's check out this one wow that came out perfect so as you can tell guys, I mean, this is an incredible model. It can create, it can change the style. It can create multiple images just with one, just one prompt. And, uh, and I think this is really beneficial for just, I, I think comics, filmmaking, anime. Um, yeah, I mean, this is a pretty powerful uh, model. So I hope you enjoyed this episode and uh, I hope you have fun with it. Uh, you can go to Korea. It's available there. And um, yeah, so I uh, love to hear your thoughts. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.